So, oh, hey everybody, uh, it's not a close up, it's a, just a micro, uh, but I'm talking because I think the sound's on in here and I'm about to play some games with this new little cat wand that I got. Um, it's actually not supposed to be a cat wand, it's sold as a fishing reel, but it seems like it might be suitable, so we're going to give it a shot. It's basically just the same fiberglass rod with a more fancy little thing and a reel on it. Yeah, I'll show you. And then a cute little reel. The reel comes off and, the, and it's got a cap you can put on it so it's like a pen. Uh, but you can see it's much bigger than a pen. Anyway, uh, anyway, let's see. Um, I just finished putting a toy on it and these kids can't wait to play. And I just have to make sure I don't get too tangled up while I'm trying to expand this whole thing. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. Hang on. Hey, hey. Okay, let go. You gotta wait for the game to start. It's fine. The game hasn't started yet now. Hang. Yeah. Okay, maybe if I just loosen the tension a little bit there, I can pull it out. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I feel like it should be longer than that. It is longer than that. Oh, oh okay. There we go. I think that's all the way extended. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. Hang on. I'm going to really get this thing going, I think, just for a minute. All right? You ready? Uh, make sure the tension's loose, and then let's just... Oh, well, that didn't throw it off. What am I doing wrong? It would help if I didn't have my hand in front of this thing. All right. Hang on now. Okay. One more try. Ready? No, not ready. Okay. Well, you know, it's probably gonna take a little getting used to. Let's see. Okay, hang on. I'm starting to get the idea. Man, I, I've never really been a fisherman. My family loves to fish. My dad, brother. Uh, and I've only done it a few times when I was little and kind of had to, you know. I think maybe if we just don't plan on casting and just plan on using it like a wand. It's... <laughs> oh, I got one. Really? Okay, buddy. Come on. Oh, that's a fighter. What'd you say, Cal? Oh, hang on. You're going to knock over my coffee if you're not careful. <laughs> Oh no! I think there he broke my string. No, he just lost it. Oh, oh So we're recording this for the mini, oh the mini close-ups, uh, the mini uh, archives, micro archives. But if you're watching on the micro archive, we've got all three views, so you might want to go to the video description and click to see the full uh, archive, and that would include all three views. It's up to you, of course. But when the time comes, now if you're watching live, of course you see all three views anyway. Wow, that was a great catch. I don't know how much of that was on the camera, but that was great. I think one reason this is fun is that the line is harder to see, but then on the other hand, it's probably going to be easier to break once they start biting it, like he's doing. Buddy, that's cheating. Biting the line is cheating, okay? And the cute little reel is very cute, but it stops you from putting it away. If you're going to put this thing away later, you've got to take the reel off and thread the uh, string back out of all the little holes. And then you can put it away, so it's a lot of setup and tear down for something that's got a pen cap on it usually. What I might do is just tie the line around uh, the bottom part and take the reel off. And then it'll be easier to cap up and to keep in my pocket. Although it's a tiny little reel, the reel's so cute, it's so tiny. Wow, that is a 
jump, pal. I am so impressed. see where those cameras are pointed. So if you're watching on the micro, it's probably going to go to static for a second and come back. Okay. All right, I think we're back. All right. Again, this is, this is not a close-up. Don't go looking for it to be live. It's a micro, so it'll just get published tomorrow. Meanwhile, their sister is, she wants to play, but she's going to let them do it first, so she's just over here sitting. I guess you can see her from the floor camera. I'll come over there. Okay, buddy. Caliper, you're very good at catching it. you got to let go, eventually. <laughs> you got to look before you leave, pal. Literally. Oh, good job, Spike. Good job, pal. That butterfly is a good toy. I don't know where it came from, but I think it came from a different, I mean, obviously it didn't come with this fishing pole. I think it came with one of the other uh, toy sets that would have been sent, and it was just in the drawer, and so I had no idea. But that's a cool one. It's just like the butterfly that are on the butterfly toy, except it's also got those little ribbons on it and uh, a little clip, so you can clip it onto anything, including this. Wow, buddy. You got some air time there, some hang time. Impressive. This feels like a good time to remind anybody that might be watching about how uh, you can still apply to adopt these kids on our website, Academy, and uh, I've suggested many times that they should be adopted either with their mom, who gives them a five wearing a camouflage suit so you probably didn't see her, or their sister, their adoptive older sister, who's uh, right there. She loves to play with them and she's very good to them, and they love her, so it would be a good thing. Astro is a little like he doesn't he doesn't hang on to it the same way, so he's more fun to play with because he'll catch it. And let it go and catch it. The caliper just wants to take it and run away with it. Look at that, they're starting to learn too that thing that kittens do where like or cats do where if one of them has got the toy, then the other ones kind of sit back and wait for their turn. That's good. Good learning kids. Push this out of the way. Don't run it into something so hard.
casting this thing again. I don't know if it's going to work for us, but I loosen the tension all the way. You can hold this little stay button, and then, oh, that time, no, I'm not going to get this, am I? One more try. I get my hand out of the way of the reel. That's the tricky part. Yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Guess it needs to have something a little heavier on the end if that's going to work. That's okay. stuck in it, buddy. There you go. Hey, oh, don't shoot the string, though. Don't shoot a line. It's not going to take too much of that. Got your claw stuck in it again. There we go. So you can you know you can reel it in a little faster than you would think. This might be too heavy. Let's try something really heavy though. Try something really fun and really heavy. Straight the line. Call the day. Right? Let's try that. Let's see if we can cast this heavy thing on there. Ready? Ready to try it, kids? Oh, I gotta keep my hand out of the way, though. Lesson I should learn. Oh, well, if that hit does, it kind of works. I don't know. It's still really not for casting for this, is it? All right. I probably should have put it on left handed or something so I could cast and then. Oh. That's fine. Right. Lesson's learned. Oh, buddy. Alright, we're gonna find out how much force it takes to break this length of string because they can really hang on to that. Come on now. This is just the line that came with a different reel that I bought. I bought two different models to see which one works better. And I just this, this one didn't come with any line, the other one did. So I took some, but that means I don't know I don't know what weight it is. I'm not gonna know. Maybe pounds probably. Certainly not after they've been chewing on it. It's a fun toy though, huh? This toy probably wants uh, a little bit of a sturdier pole though. Hey bud. What? What? You can't just take it away. Actually, I should have expected that. It's very much like the toy that he was carrying around all day yesterday that gave him that hairball. You guys got to see his little face.
Where are you going with that? Oh, nowhere, yes? Oh, Alex. Start this because if we go too long, the robot starts. Just growl at me when I tried to take that. 
Play with. 